So I got some plants here at different stages where I like to top, where I do and uh, where I don't. Uh, first, most popular uh, stage uh, to top is at the Y when it forks, right? And second, I would say, uh, well, flower buds, that's uh, definitely time to uh, take that off. You see this one, this one's full of them already. And so this, this one has a couple, but also has the fork. And that's usually when I go for the chop. But under circumstances for say uh, this one, <clears throat> I would top this one uh, even though it hasn't forked. If you can see there's some growth in there and uh, I'll probably stay higher up this one. I wouldn't blame you if you top this. I'm gonna also go ahead and top that one. These two here are an example of what not to touch. I would, uh, I would never top something this small. Hasn't wide. It's still, uh, you know, no uh, growth in the metal yet. This I'll just, I'll kick your butt if you cut something like this. So. <clears throat> Uh, I got a set of pruners here. I'm gonna disinfect with alcohol. So this larger one with uh, with all the buds, what I do is uh, when they weren't uh, leggy to begin with, pretty much a short plant still, not too high up. <clears throat> so I, I, I always try to stay just under the Y. Or no, because uh, little buds to get out of my way. But I'll just take the first node after after the Y, <clears throat> since it's not a uh, big plant. And then then I like to go down clear up at least four four nodes I usually I would leave sometimes I leave only four of the larger leaves but this doesn't look too crowded and it's allowing some some light to get in the middle so I'll probably leave this just like that maybe when some of that grows out a little bit more Maybe uh, we'll get some more of that off. This one's a little smaller, not as tall, but it's still uh, just got the Y. And I won't be able to get the node right under on this one. So go for that node there. Well, it is right under. But uh, this one's a little, a little shorter than that one. Okay. Open up some light. This one looks good like that. <clears throat> and uh, these two, I'm going to top just to show you what uh, <clears throat> it's basically the same thing you know select the select one of the nodes you want to you want to go with 
This one I did pretty much just cut the new growth on top. But, uh, open up a few more. See this one, this one had not forked yet, but looked like a good time to top it. Uh, some growth there in, in between in the middle. Now opened up. So, yeah, that's good to go. This, again, I'll. I'll take out the higher node, just kind of cut off the new growth, and then clear about four down, or or just leave four uh, with leaves. Some of the larger ones uh, blocking light, get them off. I think we'll stop there for this one. So, <clears throat> I think that's it for those. You know, some people got uh, different styles of pruning also. And, uh, you know, you can do what works for you. This is what I find, uh, <clears throat> uh, what I've learned from uh, great members in the PLC. Uh, this, these two will definitely wait a little longer. I, I'm not in the habit of uh, chopping them up that young, so we'll wait on those. I got a couple more that around that can use a little chop and uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.